Well, got one with a fan motor that quit. The fan won't start. Uh, what I have is another lid to change it with. So, let's get this going. It's just got several different screws to take it all apart. And I actually have another lid ready to go, so I kind of lucked out there. It's going to be wiring it up. This one has four wires coming from it. The one that I uh, have to change it with only has three wires, so I'm going to need to rewire that. No big deal. I could also use the X head for this, but. Flathead seems to be working just fine. So I've gone ahead and pulled the disconnect. The unit wouldn't start, only the compressor's running. I tried replacing the capacitor and that did not get it. So I pulled the disconnect. Now I'm going to discharge the capacitor. Going to verify that all of our wiring is attached as it should be. Trace this back. This has some bullet crimped wiring. Usually these are wire nutted together right here. I just want to verify that we have all connections. Let's see, we have this blue wire here. Just going here to the common side of the contact of the capacitor right here. Okay. So, not too bad. I put a new capacitor here already. So it'll make it easier for changing this out here. And we'll just cut these wires here. Should be just the yellow and black one here. I'm gonna go ahead and undo all that. Let's see. Like that. So it's black and yellow, I'm just going to cut them up above to make it easier to designate which wire is which one. Got to take the lid off. There's that. Now I'm going to go grab my other lid. I have one on the roof here. so. Be right back with that. Okay, my new lid only has three wires, so I'm gonna need to rewire a little bit here, rework everything. Okay, it's not a big deal, I'm just gonna make sure my fan baffle's nice and tight before I get this all on. Hopefully, it's rubbing on the baffle a little bit. See if it's a matter of tightening this up here. Put the new fan lid on here. I'm gonna draw the deal through here. Put the wires through. Well, it's a 
do it and then just go around. Okay, now's the wiring. There's that. Okay. So, this is the brown one for the fan, so that's going to go to one side of the capacitor. And we're going to have to jump to the common with the other side. Um, we can trace these wires back. We got our black wire, which is right here. It's going up to the top side of the contactor, right there. Just gonna mimic that. So that's easy. Not much room in there. To see very well. A little bugger. All be easy. There we go. Got that on there. So that's our black wire, and then now the blue wire. I'm just gonna trace it back to what was the yellow wire on this one, which is going down to the common wire here. So be pretty easy also in theory. So there's that. There's that wire. And we'll run that to that side of the of that capacitor. Okay. On it. Right there. Perfect. Okay, and now we just need a jumper wire. We're going to go from one side of the capacitor to the other. And I suppose a brown wire would be the best way to do this. So I'm going to cut it off the old fan. Cut our brown wire here. We're gonna go before this deal, and we'll take this one right here. Since it's the brown and white striped, and just strip these off, being careful not to lose any strands here. And then we'll wire net these together. Make it nice and easy in the future. Anyway, okay, 
And I've got a wire net right here. Not perfect for this. Now we just need to run this from the capacitor up top to the common on the capacitor down here. So here's the common. Here's the open port right here. Tight quarters there. Let's make sure that that's all there good. Push that down. Like so. Okay. And now going up top here to our capacitor. Oh. Okay, and we're in there. Okay. Yeah, I just want to position these where they're really not going to rub on anything. I would have liked to have gone underneath and stabbed. Darn it. Oh well, I just want to make sure everything works first. I actually have no idea about this fan, so before I get too far, Need to reposition that a little bit. Okay. And just want to move the fan a little bit. Make sure that the fan and blades. So now, moment of testing here and fire it up. Let's see how it goes. Okay, just gonna once again verify everything's where it's supposed to go. And here it goes. All right, got the lid back on. Everything's running good. Just gonna rerun these wires so that they're not resting on that on the high side line there. That line can get pretty hot. Pull this place off. Good to go. Nice and chilly. Good to go. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna test the old capacitor that we took off there. Let's see what we're at here. Four point eight five, so the capacitor wasn't bad. You know, it should be five plus or minus five degrees, and it's showing four point eight five. So, capacitor is still okay. <laughs>